Hi, I'm Mariana Treviño. And I'm Manuel Garcia Rulfo. Check out this extended preview of A Man Called Otto. Watch now at home. Now on digital. Mm -hmm. No, I am not a busy beaver. Oh, can I, uh, help you with that, sir? You think I don't know how to cut rope? N no, it's just we usually do that for you. Do you think I'm going to cut myself and bleed all over your floor and sue you? No. Then I don't need your help. Have an excellent day. I'm a busy beaver. Idiot. Did you, um... Find everything you're looking for today? Yes. Good. Let's see here. Uh, your total is 347. You charged me for six feet of rope. Oh, yes, it's 99 cents a yard. I didn't get two yards. I got five feet. Uh, yeah, we, we don't charge by the foot, we charge by the yard. 99 cents a yard is 33 cents a foot times five. That's 165. You charge me $1.98. <laughs> You're good at math. Um, no, I know, but I can't put it into the computer the way that you just said. What the hell kind of computer can't do simple math? Could I speak to your manager? Is that lunch? Lunch. All anyone cares about these days is lunch. Is there anyone else in charge? You the assistant manager? Yes, I'd like the assistant manager. Okay. Hey, Taylor? Taylor, the front register? What's up? Oh, hey, Taylor. This is the assistant manager? How old is she? Shouldn't you be in gym class? Sorry, what? Here, I got some change. Let me cover that extra 33 cents for you. Sir, I do not want your 33 cents. And this is not about 33 cents. This is about the fact that I got five feet of rope because I want five feet of rope, and I shouldn't have to pay for six feet of rope if I don't want six feet. Did you want another foot of rope? Mine. It belongs in the bike rack. It was only gone half a minute. Next time, I'll lock it up in the lost and found. 
go the old bastard. Dare let that little rat dog piss on my walkway again. I know it was you. Ignore him, Prince. He's a nasty, bitter old man, and he has no idea who's doing that. Well, it was one of you. And tell that useless boyfriend of yours to stop stretching his groin in public. Looks like a 14-year-old Romanian goodness, for God's sakes. Retirement cake, I guess. Call it what you like. Have fun. Have fun. Doing what? Well, have fun with the rest of your life. We wanted to, you know... Celebrate? Yes. Well, no. Give you a nice send-off. Nice. Come on, Otto. You're the one who decided to leave. And you did get a nice severance package. You took me off operations. You cut back on my hours. You made Terry, who I trained, my supervisor. Terry, who can barely figure out what year it is without his phone. So yes, I took the severance package. I'm sorry you see it that way. We all had to adjust after the merger. But you've been quite an asset to this company over the years, so... You have. Reliable as hell. We're going to miss those schedules of yours. <laughs> Two auto. Two auto. Two auto. Two auto. Okay, Otto. Want a piece of your face? <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, hey, Rick! No, 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 hey, you cannot use this road without a permit. I'm not parking. I just dropped off a package. Well, now, the sign doesn't say anything about packages, does it? It says permits and you don't have one. This is not a through street. Have a nice day, sir. Every time you come in here, that means one of the residents can't park in front of their home. You know, the other guys don't do this. The guys with the white trucks. How come it's always you brown guys? And I don't mean that racially. Hello. Sorry, can you hear me? Yes. It's Susan. Susan who? And I have great news about your health insurance. Oh, no, no, no. Robot, robot, robot. 